in this module i will talk about the 10 reasons or the tens for the amazon web services and uh, this module of course it's not possible to cover those 10 reasons for the design with reference to a cloud and why the users use uh, amazon web services this is just an intro in this module i will just very very briefly talk about some of those aspects among the 10 and uh, towards the end of this course uh, we'll be spending a lot of time on all of those tens so without further ado when people ask uh, why certain uh, the, the programmers they are using amazon web services they they are kind of uh, they are unable to describe why they are using it or maybe uh, sometimes uh, people are interested or they are, are inclined about using the amazon web services uh, but they cannot uh, spell out the reasons why they want to use the amazon web services and of course uh, then there are people or the programmers or developers who are in fact using the amazon web services but when the management asks them that why they are using Amazon Web Services, they are kind of tongue tied. So that is one aspect of Amazon Web Services, uh, which of course is the strength of Amazon Web Services. So what, what I'll do uh, is briefly talk about uh, in the details of these modules that what are the 10 main fundamental reasons or the strengths of Amazon Web Services. Now the second aspect is the design aspects or the cloud aspects of the Amazon Web Services. Now for example, uh, people will say or tell you that use the right tool for the right job. So the right tool for the right job in the context of the web uh, applications, uh, the, in terms of scale of the web applications, they require the processing power. So Amazon Web Services, is the tool is the tool right so the tool for example pinterest so a lot of images hundreds and thousands millions of images and uh, visitors so they they are using amazon web services then of course uh, is the one should have the skill to select the right tool for the right job so what is that skill that skill in the context of amazon web services is that you should know that which service or the characteristics of the service is suitable for your application design and then of course uh, it's a combination of these things which results into a design which i will tell you the 10 reasons why and what are the considerations for the cloud aspects of the amazon web services so these are the 10 reasons uh, of course it's not possible to go through all of those 10 reasons I will just go through the IT agility of the Amazon Web Services, uh, the cost considerations, and it is good for your career. So let me first talk about the IT agility. IT agility of the Amazon Web Services. Now, uh, in the context of the IT department, uh, people will say uh, kind of jokingly on a, on, a, on a lighter note that the IT department is the no department. Now, if you ask them to provide services and resources, uh, they will they will have many issues they will have many procedures they will have many processes and those procedures and processes have uh, developed over a period of time and uh, they are kind of fail safe processes and procedures but a, but as a consequence of those processes and procedures is that if i need processing power okay i have to go through a lot of hurdles a lot of roadblocks and a lot of barriers and it can take months it can take weeks before i get the processing power which i need but with the amazon web services that processing power is there i don't have to go through all those hurdles i don't have to go through all those impediments i don't have to go through all those barriers that processing power is is there and as this as the point i am going to discuss right now which is underlined it is cost effective amazon web services are cost effective in terms of processing power there are hardly any penalties 
and uh, I can uh, use these services and I am billed for what I have done and when I am through I can stop using those services and when I want to use the services again I can again uh, refer back or use those services again so they are cost effective and they are uh, they, they, they have the agility also and then with reference to the carrier now what is most important is you your carrier right so you have to develop an understanding which I will also talk about and discuss and explain also that what are the different types of Amazon web services and develop an understanding and a thought process of aligning the application needs with the characteristics and applications of the Amazon web services so that you have a productive career we'll talk more about it everything fails at the time so design principle for the cloud now there's something which is called as the Murphy's law Murphy's law says that if something is going to fail it is going to fail right and it is going to fail in addition at the worst possible time with very painful consequences so the one aspect of Amazon web service for the cloud is that things fail things fail because in the traditional IT setup there's a lot of effort which has which which has gone into and is going that the applications stay they don't fail that the infrastructure stays it doesn't fail but the thing is that they do fail and when they fail then the IT department people they put an extra effort to, uh, to, to add redundancy in the system but still the systems will fail so it is just kind of running about trying to make a perfect system which is not there but with the Amazon cloud we, we know we, we understand and we work with the understanding and the concept that things fail all the time and then is the mon uh, monitoring the problems now if I have a redundant system with redundancy a very nice system but if the system component fails application fail part of the infrastructure fails then that nice redundancy is gone it is gone so I have a non redundant system so how to prevent it by monitoring when I monitor it and uh, there are prediction models also which can predict when something is going to fail which is part of business intelligence I can make uh, preparations I can have a more uh, proactive approach instead of a reactive approach to address those requirements and then of course is the tier based design approach uh, now usually uh, if I divide partition the security groups then I have a secure tier right but something which is a kind of uh, overlooked is that if I have a redundant resources and I have a flexible tier then what I can do is that as per the requirement I can have a strong tier I can have a strength with it and I can remove things and I can add things so that increases the efficiency of my design and goes along with the Amazon web services that's all I have to talk about in this module